This interview of Marianne Williamson by Sean Hannity sparked my interest because the comments are peculiar, we'll say. So this was from 12 days ago. But the comments are positive. That's why I say that they're peculiar because, like, look at what they're saying here. Imagine if our country was intelligent enough to even think of electing a woman like this for president. Excuse me? Could someone on Fox News please give Marianne a chance to speak? And these aren't like one-offs, right? Like you see 133 upvotes, 396 upvotes. Sean isn't being a good interviewer. He's just trying to make her look stupid and he failed 499 upvotes. This is the most disrespectful interview ever. Hannity was so disrespectful. Excuse me? Um, what the fuck is going on? So Fox News viewers heard from Marianne Williamson and they like what they have to say. Folks, are we living in the Twilight Zone? She demolished Sean on his own show. Thanks, Hannity, for showing your audience how smart, thoughtful, and strong Marianne Williamson is. She has my vote. Folks, I don't know what's happening here and I don't know how to process this information. The orb is undefeated. Apparently so. So let's watch it. I have not seen this yet, to be clear, but the comments definitely intrigued me. So I want to know what she said to basically, I guess, bread pill, for lack of a better word. That's cringy. Cut that. We're not going to use bread pill. <laughs> I don't know what she said to like convince Fox News' dumbass boomer audience to listen to her, because this is fucking weird. So, take it away. Time for the Hannity hot seat. If you watch Joe Biden's re-election announcement video, you may have seen something very interesting at the end. Take a look at your screen and see what it says on the bottom, paid for by the Democratic National Committee. So the DNC is all in for Biden, and they've rigged the primary before it even starts. Remember, they're going to bypass New Hampshire, go straight to South Carolina. That's true. Uh, they're not even holding any debates despite the fact that a majority of Democrats uh, do not want Joe to run for a second term, but True. Joe isn't the only one running. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. recently entered the race, by the way, and he's up to 19% in the polls. That's a pretty big number. Mm, fuck him, though. He's a clown and a dipshit, so don't care about him. I think. And author Marianne Williamson, she ran back in 2020, if you recall. She is back in the race, and she announced her campaign before Biden did, and she did it longer than three minutes and didn't have to tape it. Uh, and she's asking Joe Biden to debate her. And she joins us now from Washington, D.C. tonight, The Swamp. And by the way, let me just say that I hate that we're in this environment where if an incumbent president decides to run for reelection, there's just no challenge. Like, I, I find that absolutely ridiculous. I think that every single incumbent politician should be forced to have a robust primary challenger. And on top of that, they need to be required to debate their opponents. I think that it is antithetical to democracy to have it any other way. So I don't like that we have this two-party duopoly that just like anoints someone as, as like the figurehead if they choose to run again. But that's how it's always been. And I fucking hate it. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm curious to see what she says here because those comments, goddamn. Marianne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for I, having me. I actually am going to start out in agreement with you. I think we'll disagree on other stuff. Um, I think it would be fair for Joe Biden to debate you and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Why do you think he's not debating? And do you believe he's in a steep cognitive decline? Well, I think in a democracy, what's important is that people have a right to see their options. I think this is an extremely important time in American history. And anyone who feels moved to run for president should have their say. And the voters should hear what they have to say. They should hear their agenda. And the voters should decide who they want to be president. Okay, how about part and two of my question? Do you believe he's in a major cognitive decline? I, I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not somebody who is testing his brain. I think every American citizen Marianne, has to when you look at the president him, and listen to the president. Does he seem like somebody that has the strength and stamina and is articulate to be president? 
<clears throat> you know, I wouldn't be running if I didn't think that I was a better candidate. I think I have the energy, and certainly I have yeah, the ideas that are answer, better. you got to answer my because question. I because I don't, I'm, just, I'm not going to come on Fox News and talk to you, Sean, and say something like that. I'm not going to. I think okay. every American the, can decide for themselves. But if you believe it... Okay, I actually... I disagree with Marianne. I do think that uh, Joe Biden is in cognitive decline. I think that that's been evident for a while. Um, that being said, so is Donald Trump, but Hannity wouldn't go there, right? But I think that the way that she's handling this is good because the condescension that she received from the White House when she was running, she's choosing to be the bigger person here. And this is one of those, those instances where... I think that not going below the belt matters. And she points it out, like, I'm not going to attack him on Fox News here because they're just going to use that against him later on. Even somebody on the left, the far left loon like Marianne Williamson is saying you're in cognitive decline. So I think that she's smart here. Like, she's being aware of the space that she's in and the people that she's talking to. And on top of that, like, she's just being polite. Like, this is why she's such a, a lovable person. You would tell us, would you? I don't, I, I, my mind doesn't go into that. I don't believe that the energy okay. is being demonstrated that I believe will be necessary in order to take on either DeSantis or Trump in 2024. And you if I did, yeah. All right, you <clears throat> said that we need an economic U-turn in this country. Yes. Yeah. What system True. economically do you support? I'm a capitalist, <clears throat> I believe in limited government, more freedom, lower taxes, uh, and energy independence. What do you want? You know, I think our, our capitalist system has lost some of its soul over the last 50 years. I believe that capitalism, you know, uh, Adam Smith, who is the main architect of free market capitalism, said that free market capitalism cannot exist outside an ethical context. I think public policy has to have ethics. So I believe that the American people our safety, our health, and our well-being should come before short-term profits for huge corporate entities. I believe that there uh, are other but, stakeholders but, but besides you, you, you just thrown stockholders. You've thrown out a lot of cliches. I want to... I want, no, I want I to you've thrown out a lot of cliches, Sean. <laughs> They're nuts. How is that a cliche? That's not a fucking cliche, you absolute dipshit. I, dig, I so. want to dig down deep here. What All do right. you think I want, for example, lower taxes, mm -hmm. more freedom, <clears throat> less government uh, bureaucracy, and I want okay. energy independence, I want border secure, uh, okay, let's I want take law one and order. Time. What okay, do you want? Not, okay, so let's go with each one. The first one, take, take each one at a time. The first one you said was lower taxes. I want lower taxes for middle class people. I want higher taxes for people who have huge Based. amounts of wealth and are living at the how effect high? of public policies. That, how, high? how high? I want to see a wealth tax. I think, people, I think people who, first of all, I think we should, look, in 2017, we had a two, $2 trillion dollar tax cut. Eighty-three cents of every dollar went to the very richest Americans and the very right, let's uh, see richest how smart you are in the economy. The middle class. What percent Damn, he's just straight up cutting her off. Like he's gish galloping, but she's not allowing it. She's just stopping him and taking each of these things that he's trying to throw at her, like one by one, and she's crushing it. Like Marianne Williamson, folks, debate queen. Okay, Sean handed. Like, look at this. See this? He's disheveled. <laughs> That face is disheveled in particular. He doesn't know how to respond to her. Uh, and she's spitting facts and he's trying to shut her down because you can't have too much truth go to the audience. And apparently, based on the reaction, she might have uh, sold them on her ideology. What percentage of income taxes do the bottom 50% <coughs> of Americans pay? What percent? It's not about the. I'm not going to talk to you about the bottom middle class, uh, the bottom half. I'm going to talk to you about the upper class, the one percent. So you ask me what I want to see. I want to see 50 million or more. I think people should pay an extra two percent in taxes. Wouldn't affect their day. And if someone has a billion dollars, they should so pay. So you an want extra to 1%. each American based on their need from each American according uh, to their ability. You know, talk about cliches. Is that a statement that you agree with? I'm asking. I agree with that. Yes. Well, as a you know, as a as a concept. But once again, that we should talk By the about way, what's Karl real Marx, in this country. That's Karl Marx's words, not mine. Well, thank Based. God I didn't say yes, because then you'd be calling me a Marxist. You kind of did, look, but Sean, you know. Well, no, I didn't. Look, Sean, look, I did. I, I, let me, let me ask did. you. I did. You didn't trap me. Would you support me in this? 
Do you support <coughs> energy independence? And we ought not be importing oil from countries that hate us and countries like Venezuela. Would you support you, me on that? I think that you, I would support you that we should not be getting oil or selling arms, by the way, to countries that hate us. But I also want to see a habitable planet in 100 years. I want to see massive investments in green energy. I want to see a just transition from a dirty economy to a clean economy. How and for much that money? Matter, we're now spending over $50 billion. Every government agency is spending something on, on the climate alarmist religious cult. How, mu oh, how many on. billions of dollars do you want to invest in it? Give me a number. Not a, uh, listen, we have $858 billion right now in our military. Yes. Every year. And they are the largest institutional emitter of greenhouse gases. And the Congressional Budget Office, hardly a liberal organization, says that we could Natural take out a trillion of that over the next decade and cut greenhouse right, gases. But natural this gas is, not a, is a, a clean a burning to uh, fossil fuel. All right. I got to ask you about some of the weird stuff you've said. <clears throat> OK. OK. You, you, you have said your body is merely your space station from whence you beam your love to the universe. Don't just relate to the station, relate to the beams. You said everyone yeah. feels on some level like an alien <clears throat> in this world because we are. We come from another realm of consciousness and mm -hmm. uh, long from home. OK, listen, let me just pause right there. Marianne Williamson has said some like things with flowery language that didn't necessarily appeal to me but i mean her heart is in the right place she speaks about love i love it okay i love her energy i love what she says but of all people sean hannity is not the person who should be bringing up somebody else's quotes and saying hey you said this and that's a little bit weird motherfucker you're sean hannity you're sean hannity you don't get to do this horrible messenger <laughs> you're not in a position of authority here when it comes to weird quotes because we can Google you. You've been on the fucking air for 10,000 years, my dude, okay? You've said more dumb things than any human being can count, okay? So, not the right messenger, but I'm curious to see how she responds. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'm surprised to hear you say that, because I... I would think that you would recognize that as a very traditional religious and spiritual perspective, that we are spirits, that God created us as spirits, and that is what we are, and we are here to love one another. See, and this is where she starts to lose me, because I don't like the God and the spiritual bullshit. I think that that's stupid. But I mean, like, the sentiment is that, like, we should be loving, and I could get behind that, but I don't like the foo-foo religious shit. But, I mean... It is her response here is good because that's something that should appeal to someone like Sean Hannity. Like he's the one who loves the flower, the flowery uh, religious bullshit, right? So how is that not appealing to you? Like he's just a hack. It's oh, you know, you're you're a lefty, so that's inherently bad. Sean, shut the fuck up. You have no politics. You're just rich and you're a hack. Like that's all you are. And we don't feel deeply at home on a spiritual level on this planet because this world is not based on love the way it should be. I, I think those words are All right, that's nice. a fair answer. I, I'm a Christian. I believe in God the Father, that God Thank created you. every man, woman, and child on this earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his son, that died and resurrected. I believe in Santa Claus. I believe that every single... Uh, 25th of December, he goes around the world and delivers presents to every single child who was good and is on the good list. Like, that's how you sound, dude. Like, that's how you sound. You sound like a fucking dipshit. Stop pushing your dumb religious nonsense. Uh, came back from the dead uh, to save all of us Zombies? from our sins. That's what I believe. Do you believe in talking animals? That's in the Bible too, bitch. So, anyway, Marianne, I, I appreciate that. you taking the heat. I Thanks don't respect that. Hey, welcome back. I disrespect hey, that. Sean Hannity. I want to sort by new. Because does it change? Oh, here we go. Marianne is a clueless clown. Hannity is an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Still not what I expected. At least Marianne Williamson is willing to sit down and discuss issues with Sean Hannity. Joe Biden would not even be able to respond to those these questions. I mean, to be fair, you're right. Joe Biden probably wouldn't be able to respond, but they're also very stupid questions as well. Comments are brutal. She got my Republican vote. What? They've got to be just talking about, like, the primary, right? Hannity, please be quiet. Let your guest speak. She's better than Mumbly Joe. This is so interesting to me. Lost, your de lost the debate, Sean. Good heavens, what a butthead. Watch the language there. Jesus. Sorry, I couldn't help it. This is not objective journalism. Okay. 
Not a good look for Hannity. This, why are the, I don't get it. He talks about Jesus as it's uh, as if it's some afterthought. Let her talk. So is it just the case that like a bunch of right wingers are pleased to see what Marianne Williamson said? This is just so weird. This is just so weird to me. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.